How's it going everyone? It's McHugh again. So I'm about to go leave to go see Hamilton. Super stoked about seeing this. Uh, got it for actually my sister for a Christmas gift. I got her a ticket and another ticket for a friend and she graciously picked me as her friend. So we're about to go see a pretty damn good musical. Thank you and it's been a little bit since I made a vlog episode. Sorry about that. I've been super busy with a lot of other stuff but on to the video. I am still incredibly busy. Still got a lot of passion projects that I'm working on behind the scenes including the podcast twitch i'm still thinking about this still got some voice acting stuff that i've been still hammering away at and just other ideas i've been bringing up in my uh pair i guess because but I, it's certainly not going to my head so i'll set the scene for you december 25th 2017 I get my sister for her Christmas gift two tickets to see Hamilton, Alexander Hamilton, the musical. For those of you that don't know, Hamilton is a musical about Alexander Hamilton, the Secretary of the Treasury, or whatever title during the Revolutionary War. He was a war hero, and he had quite an incredible life. This musical is in the vein of Les Mis, so everything spoken. It's technically an opera in that regard, but it just says the story of of Alexander Hamilton, Aaron Burr, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson from Alexander Hamilton's point of view and honestly really Aaron Burr's perspective. The catch about it is that the entire soundtrack is all sung in rap which makes it a very very interesting musical. It's actually really good. I highly recommend you go check out the album. Now I'm not gonna get the exact information right but essentially when it did come out a couple years ago it was the talk of the town. It won so many awards and it was is just the musical to go see. It was super expensive and pretty exclusive until that is they started touring across the country finally. I managed to finally get some tickets and I wanted to give it to my sister because she deserves it and I think that she would appreciate the show way more than I would. So I got her two tickets, one for her and one for a friend and she decided to take me as her friend. Oh. That's so cute! Honestly, I'm super honored that she would even consider me take her to see Hamilton, and I, I am so uh, happy that I have an incredible sister, and uh, I love her to death. So to start off, my journey to the city in Des Moines, where it was showing, is about uh, two and a half hours to get there. Unfortunately, I had to go through quite the thunderstorm to get there. It does take about two and a half hours to get there. However, it took me more along the lines of three and a half hours because of this horrible, horrible storm. I like the rain. I like driving in the rain. I think the rain is fantastic. Except when traffic is so horrible that it backs everything up. There was a part on the interstate where there was a construction sign that said construction ahead. For about 15 miles, there were cones uh, blocking up the left side of the lane. After all said and done, uh, 30 minutes of just slowly going inch by inch by car by car through there, I finally get out and there is literally no construction there. They just blocked off those cones for no reason. It was a pain in the butt. Further along the way, I saw about three semi-trucks just tipped over, so it was pretty bad in all honesty. I finally find a parking spot relatively close to the auditorium where we were. I found a parking spot relatively close to the auditorium where we were going to see Hamilton. Uh, I already ac I accidentally paid for the parking of the car in front of me and my own car, so I paid 10 bucks to pay for parking. And then later on, I had to pay more because I decided to go eat dinner and I wasn't ready to leave Des Moines yet. I've seen about nine Broadway musicals now and I gotta say Hamilton definitely takes the cake on being the best one. I'm somewhat of a theater nerd so this might be unapplicable to those who are watching currently but it was interesting to see that a lot of the extras had more movement than the actual lead roles. In fact, I'd say the extras had the best choreography I've ever seen in a show and I found myself watching the extra no-name characters way more than the leads, which was incredible. I love watching extras and the side characters because the attention is not necessarily on them, so they just get to ham it up as much as they want to just to stand out. And being someone that has struggled with uh, getting roles and plays and stuff like that, 
I totally feel that, and I definitely hammed it up and made myself stand out from the leads, and I got so many compliments on saying, you did a great job, and I loved your performance, sometimes over the lead, so those extra side characters and those characters with no names that are just dancers in the background, I super, super appreciate you, honestly, more than the lead. Now, Hamilton has a very diverse cast of actors that plays, most of it being black, which is really fascinating. You have George Washington is uh, played by a black man. You have Thomas Jefferson that's also being played by a black man. In this current showing that I saw, George Washington was Asian, and it was the coolest thing ever to see an Asian George Washington. Literally, my favorite version of George Washington is Asian George Washington. After the incredible show, me and my sister went uh, scouring through the city away from the theater to try to find some food. We eventually got a couple blocks away, and then we decided to turn around. When we were coming back towards the theater, however, we're 99.99% .99 sure that we saw the guy that was playing Lafayette and Thomas Jefferson coming back, f uh, walking away from the theater in the street clothes. We kind of wanted to say, hey, what's up, but we kind of weren't sure if it was the guy at the time, and we wouldn't didn't want to be those people that, you know, geek out over a famous person, but we're pretty sure it was him, and... Dang it, we should have said something. Now, I'm usually not one to buy merch, but for this type of show and how much I liked it and how famous and relevant to today's world and just how incredibly amazing it is for just being what it is, I had to buy some merch. So, for those of you that don't know, uh, every time you go to a Broadway show, you get the playbill. So I got this nice Hamilton playbill, and there goes my ticket. Uh, that has just a bunch of information, a lot of ads, but has the actors and like what they've done previously and stuff like that. The little bio of them and where they've been in life, what other performances they've done. So this is uh, a great, great thing to add to my collection of playbills. I also had to get a Hamilton t-shirt, which was very clean. I'll bring that up. So just straight up, just Hamilton. It looks really nice, just black and gold. You can't go wrong with that. And of course, I had to get a Hamilton shot glass. This side says, I'm not throwing away my shot, which that's a song in the show. I had to pull this from the sink because I may have already used it. So that was my quick trip to Hamilton. I absolutely adored the show. It was incredible. I would highly suggest you go view it if you can, if it's somewhere close to you. And <laughs> honestly, if you have the funds to go see it, the tickets are pretty pricey and they're, this is a definitely a popular show where the tickets are gonna go instantaneously. I had to find, I had to fight for the tickets that I got. Uh, they were really good tickets, and it was just an incredible show. So, if you like history, if you like rap music, then you should definitely go watch this show, because it is in a class of its own. So that's gonna wrap it up for me for this little vlog. It's a little bit of an unconventional vlog, and I was able to get a little bit of footage on my travels, but I'm glad I just posted a Monday video in all honesty. I'm uh, doing quite a bit better on trying to keep up with social media, so uh, the Facebook page is there. Also, I'd like to plug in the podcast because we just had a really good episode about talking about our college experiences, so I will link that in the doobly-doo down below. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, go see Hamilton, go check out the podcast, and hey, come visit me on Twitch. I'm usually streaming 6 to 10 o'clock on Monday. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and sometimes other days. But anyways, I've rambled too much on. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. <sighs> see you later. I keep looking at the dang screen up there. Sorry about that, guys.